Morning, everybody. Jason Hollis Farms. It's our first day to dove hunt this year. I think it's one, two, three, five of us out here, I think. New dove field. Rained all last night. Supposed to rain here maybe in a little bit. I don't know how good it's going to be, but I think we're going to have a good time. All right, y'all. It's breaking daylight. We done had eight or ten land in the field. This kind of hunt's hard to film, but we're going to do our best. I hit that bird. The camera fell off. Alright, it looks like they might fly pretty decent. We got some rain coming. Maybe it'll go around us. Went with the guy on tonight. I didn't have my camera on. Cody got one. Can't see them yet. They rolling. They're shooting like. <laughs> Don't matter to me if I hit them. I just like to shoot. Coming across the middle. That right there, Cody. Huh? A little low, wasn't he? Watch them. Here they come, Cody. Shoot, Cody. What are you waiting on, boy? Here he's coming back around. Load up, shoot them again. Still misty. Got him, didn't we? Right at you, Cody. Turning. Here he comes, right down the middle, Cody. Oh, he landed. Get him. Late now. All right, I'm moving down a little bit. We got too many trying to light down here and ain't getting shot at. Cody, right at you. Right in front of you. As y'all can see, this uh, dove hunting ain't my best sport, that's for sure. I'm trying to shoot one handed and hold the camera then. I'm trying to figure out the best place to. Put this camera while we dove hunting. I think I need it on my head. But I got it. I tried to put it on my gun and it keeps jumping off and then I had it between my legs mounted on the seat. Cody! This kind of a tricky deal to film. Ain't like a deer or a turkey walking in. They just tricky. Got him. Finally took my time, got this camera out of my hand, and got one. And he would go in this tall grass. <clears throat> oh. Finally 
finally found. I didn't live too far. I'm gonna quit uh I'm gonna quit shooting and just let Presley shoot. That boy don't miss. He can double, triple. That son gun can shoot a bird now. Alright, got me another one. So. All right, so I decided to bring a 12 gauge today. And the reason I quit shooting one is because I can't hit these things. And uh, I started bringing a 20. I need to go down to a 14. I'm just, I'm, I can turn them. Boy, I ain't no good with these things. I don't know why. But anyway, I'm gonna have a sore shoulder and not much to show for it. I think it's gonna start raining again. All right, so I do enjoy this dove hunting. Hey, right behind you, Cody. Oh, I'm back on the ranger. Maybe once or twice a year, and then I'm about had enough. Good warm up for uh, deer season. I can't hit them jokers. That that gum Presley and Jake's wearing them out over there. I done shot a bunch, but I ain't hardly hit nothing. I'm going to eat me a snack. I got a Dr. Pepper, and I still got a couple of these Belvedas left I'm putting to work on. Man, one well, thing right there, that thing was right on top of me sitting on the Ranger. I'm about to get my gun out. And this is a hard hunt to film. If I was just maybe film, to film and shoot it, it's kind of tricky. All right, y'all, not too bad a morning. Boy, it is wet now, but uh, we got a few things we're all going to do, and then we are, uh, we're we going to come back down this evening and try them this evening, see if we can hit one. All right, y'all, we are headed back in for an evening hunt. See how good they're going to fly. All right, y'all, we set up for the evening. Me and Cody been sitting here for just a little while waiting on Brian and Jake and Presley and everybody. Oh, they've been steadily flying and lighting, and we ought to have a good shoot this evening, I believe. Boy, it's been slow this evening. Cody just got one. Bad slow. I'm going to get cranked up in a minute. Jake! Should have stayed still and shot that one. That mare was flying high. One handed with the camera. Missed him. That was too far for me. So I can't shoot these things to start with. So now I'm holding the camera in one hand and shooting with the other. I did get close on one of them while I got a few tail feathers, I think. I'm going to get, maybe we'll get to flying here in a second. Got that one. Oh, he's still going. Get him, Cody. I don't know how that made it out of here. Too far.
Hoo-ha. Right down the middle of them, everybody. Hope that thing lit in the field. Ducks. Right down the middle again. Get him, Cody. Right here, Brian got that one. Finally got one down. Too far for me. I'm going to turn him over. <coughs> Alright, so we had a little more rain last night east of here, but it don't look like we got any more. Me and PJ and Bob open to make around feeding and kind of see how wet it is. Got a couple, let's see, we've got one more day before the loggers can come back. So I'm hoping one more day of drying, they can ease on back in here. This road seems okay. Seems pretty good, our main road right here, but as it gets further back, we got less gravel in it. Might get a little slick, we'll just have to sleep. I'll tell y'all right now, the deer are hammering the feed. Everything's so tough, it's been so dry. <coughs> Clover's getting short. It's a kind of a tough time of year on them. It's been so hot right before deer season, before all your green fields and all start getting going. They really hammer this feed, so. And I think that's why we get been getting quite a few hogs. Is the, the food sources are a little scarce. So it definitely has helped with all the grading we've done and a little bit of ditching to keep this water off these roads, helping them dry quicker. I got one spot right here I noticed the other day. Got a little high spot right there. I need to pull that down a little bit and get that water to ago before we started this spot right here was nearly halfway across the road so we're getting it better we had i think we had like four inches of rain this part of the road right here is going to be fine especially one more day of drying <clears throat> right, this might be a little questionable right here where they had to push a little dirt for this wood road. I get sun on it, I believe we'll be all right. It's gonna be a little water standing down through here. We'll have to, we'll have to watch this. This is gonna be the worst of it right here. All right, so all I got with me this morning is PJ because she's coming in the heat. I've been watching her because I keep uh, her and Bobo together. Most of the time they stay out in the yard together now, so I've been watching her because I ain't ready for no puppies, even though they would make some good ones. But don't need any puppies, so I'll probably just start swapping them out for a few days back and forth till she goes out of heat. But it is pretty nice this morning. Sun's coming up. I think I'm fixing to get on the tractor and uh, start working on one of our main roads, try to get it cut if it's not too wet. It's drying pretty good and today it ought to dry real good with the sunshine. probably fed it before but I am really liking this rhino for doing these roads I may have to make an extra pass but with like the MX-10 it's 10 foot and our bat wing bush hogs are 15 foot just not it just doesn't do as good a job I think on these roads as I think it could so with, with this bush hog I'm able to go down the ditch right here and then come back this way I really think it's a, it cuts it better at the angles because of the width it being a little narrow and, and also it, it's not as rough on the bush hogs. Just more made for this right here. You get a little wide, and it, I don't know. It just seems like it's working good. Right?
time for a little snack. Now it's a pack of Belveda. Blueberry. And a lemonade. So the road is drying out pretty good. It was so dry beforehand. We got a lot of rain, but it's drying. All right, so I brought the Dodge down, took the trailer up. I'm thinking to take the 5065 and cut the grass around where the trailer's been parked, fuel it up, and load it up. Head to Alabama with it. I'll, uh, I'll probably do most of Alabama with the, this tractor and then uh, I'll end up back down here with it. And uh, if I'm going to do something down here in the meantime, I'll do it with the, the MX 10 and the 5101. The worst roads is mostly done now, so we can use that other tractor. Loaded and ready. All right, so not a lot going on. A little bit of dove hunting, a little bit of tractor work. We got a lot of rain, but I think it's going. It's already drying up good. I think we're going to be all right. Keep plugging along. One day close to the deer season, it'll be going to be long where we get some good filming going on. I hope some big bucks. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here. <laughs>